in the past, there were scientists who studied the stars and scientists that studied atoms. And even today, there are scientists called cosmologists and scientists called particle physicists. Yet, there is a direct connection between the physics of the very large and the physics of the very small. Because even the largest objects in the universe are made of exactly the same building blocks as the smallest things. Measuring things is at the heart of science. One of science's great achievements is to have accurately measured everything from the size of the universe to the size of the tiny particles that make up the heart of an atom. One of the big questions that all physicists want to answer is what happened at the birth of the universe? We think that the very early universe, just after the Big Bang, was incredibly tiny and energetic. And this early universe was composed entirely of fundamental particles that particle physicists like me study. Now, if we can understand the nature of these fundamental particles, then we can understand why the whole universe is as it is. Cosmologists study the early universe by using increasingly powerful telescopes. And particle physicists unlock the secrets of the early universe by using powerful instruments called particle accelerators. These machines create the kind of high energy collisions between particles that went on all the time after the Big Bang. The Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland is the most powerful accelerator ever built. It's called large because it is. It's a massive instrument contained in a 27 kilometer tunnel 100 meters underground. This amazing machine will take protons and smash them into each other to recreate the conditions that existed just after the Big Bang. Results from the LHC will be hugely exciting Exciting to scientists who study the very, very big things. Exciting to scientists like me who study the very, very small things. And exciting to everyone who wants to understand how things began and how things work now.